yep i'm a pro to this is all one pro studio today i'm going to show you something about cutting your audio something nice about it normally you will carry your cut tool and just cut stuff but there's a better way to do it you know i used to wonder how to cut in fl studio and have this cross fade or this smooth fade so that the sound don't just stop that's when i am cut my audio file now i have a way to do it yeah before we continue you should subscribe if you haven't already yeah it helps us a lot i'm using fs studio 20 for this video but i believe you can do it in other versions of sl okay so let's jump right into it let me use this piano sound here okay so i double click on the audio file there normally it comes in this form transient no bleeding this the clicking mode here so let's just cut it somewhere here i take my cut to and cut it let's hear it you hear that um maybe you should use your headphones or something but i heard it just now let me play it again okay that click sound to avoid that i already made a cut on this audio file here i just double click on the wave file i'll stick it to um one of these this four um this is how it works if you take it on this cut only this you still hear the sound to this cut only no bleeding you still hear the sound hmm <laughs> even worse <laughs> okay so what i need to do there is to take it let's take it to maybe transient bleeding let's hear it so there's a fade there do you see a fade here but it's not enough to make that pop sound go away so uh let's put it on generic bleeding the fade is bigger you look at it yeah so let's hear it the click sound is out so there's a little fade on the transient bleeding here but it's not enough so with the generic bleeding that the clicking mode you hear that pop sound just go away okay let's still go down to the smooth bleeding this one is wider as it covers a wider area so let's hear it um i don't like the way that sounds on this one i think it's too much kind of makes it somehow like i just don't like it okay let's go to the crossfade it's wider look at it you can see it here from what's going on here when it's in the smooth bleeding mode you see it now i want to change just put your eyes here let me take it down to the crossfade okay crossfade bleeding let's hear it Yes, yeah, so that that's great it sounds nice but i think the generic works better in this case sounds nice i have this drum sample here so what i want to do i want to cut on top of the kick yeah this is a kick sound i'll just cut right on top and let's see the mode it's in Okay, transient no bleeding i don't have to go and undo this cut if i change this clicking mode and if i cut like three places in this audio sample it will affect everywhere like if i have a cut here and i have a cut here for instance and i mean this let me take it to the crossway so that you see it well it's going to affect all of them at once okay let me leave it in the cut only no bleeding you hear that that's what we're trying to avoid that click sound i put on the transient no bleeding okay it's kind of okay on this one and another thing is maybe you might not want the stuff together like you just want to cut one out like i want to remove this for instance it can still work because what happens is this fades out smoothly 
okay that's not that smooth <laughs> maybe we should put it in something like smooth bleeding so you hear that fade this kind of fade this fade sound so let's put it on cross fade so that it will be more obvious so you hear that so now you can make your audio file fade out nicely because in case you don't know now you know another thing i should let you know is as it goes down the fade becomes bigger for instance we have the transient little fade transient bleeding generic it's kind of bigger um fade longer fade smooth longer fade smooth bleeding the cross fade longer fade then if you want to just cut it all right like this video if you like it if you haven't already subscribed to this channel i'm a pro to this all one pro studio that's it you see me small don't believe your eyes don't give in to a pair of lies